Hello everyone, welcome back to some City of Skylines, Natural Disasters. Oh, we have had quite a few disasters the past few episodes. We had, oh, what, three nights of tsunami each night all in a row. We had a tornado following up that. But we are, as you can see, starting to upgrade to some high-density buildings. Get more people packed in so they can die from all of our natural disasters and whatnot. It's been rough. It's been a lot of death and destruction going on is what it has been. But we'll find a way to survive. Oh, that road's still damaged. I wonder when that... It must have been from the tornado, I bet. If you go up to your info views... Right there, you have to click to see where there's still damage. It looks like everything's repaired now. I must have just missed that one little thing, so that's okay. Do we have a little bit of uh, growth there in the center? Let's see, can we build any more? Trying to get these all unlocked. But they are very expensive. As you can see, we're out of cash again. We'll get our pyramid of safety. Don't worry about that. That's always a goal of mine, is to be so safe you get a pyramid. Oh, let's see. Parks. We will be expanding our industry pretty soon, it looks like, here. So. Oh, wow, we blew through all of our money, didn't we? I didn't realize it was that bad. Well, once we get a little bit more money, we'll put a firehouse down, and then maybe we'll expand a bit. I suppose you could expand now. Let's do that. That's all it takes. And then they'll have... Parks will have power, and then... You see, we're almost already up to the point where we can build... Ah, uh, it's already... Yeah, but we need a fire station anyways. We'll wait, though, because we're pretty low on cash. Looks like some housing wants to go up, so why don't we just delete this low density. Let's put in some high density. I do it in small chunks like that. You don't want to have, you know, a huge population drop much easier to do in smaller segments. I don't know why I keep missing those little corners like that. Also, I kind of want to keep the outer edge low density. You know, kind of like a real city where you, know, you have a big downtown with the skyscrapers in the middle of it. And then you got kind of the, you know, the residential stuff on the sides. Surrounding it, the lower density stuff. I don't know how we're going to fix that, if we're even going to be able to, because we're kind of focusing this all down here. So I don't know how that's going to work out with the interchange up top. That's kind of the only way in and out of the city at the moment. That could make traffic a nightmare. I don't know. Of course, there's access to the trains up north. So we maybe we will buy a chunk of land up here just to kind of fix some of that stuff. I don't really want to, but... Because what do we have left? Four pieces of land we can buy? You guys, there's four here, and that's five. Yeah, what can we do? Six, seven, eight. Maybe we'll do six, seven... Eight, nine, or I don't know. We got time to think about it. I mean, we're really kind of on the first land here, the first chunk of land. I mean, we do kind of have a little bit of the second one down there, but really, this is mainly just all the first still. So. But that's Disasterington Village for you. The kind of place this is. 
We are making money pretty fast, which is the good thing. Which means more of these guys can be plopped down. Oh, two, I guess. I don't really have many. Got most of them down, though. That's always good. Where was that pyramid of safety? Hundred and twenty thousand bucks for a pyramid of safety? That is a very expensive pyramid. But we're already pretty close to having it built, so maybe we'll put it. I kind of need like flat road, don't you? There it is. Look at that big safety sign there. Well, that goes deep. What is this thing supposed to be? That is bizarre. Like, let's say it goes way the heck down. How does it, what is this thing? Weird. Very popular though. It's got a lot of people in the front part of it. And you can hear the houses dinging, leveling up because they're so happy that they live next to this ridiculous pyramid. Oh, what more could you want? Let's just start filling in some high density here. And this is where it gets to be oddly shaped. I think this is what we did a few episodes ago. We just kind of made it all sloppy and silly. I do want to leave a ring of low density around it though. I do want to do that, that is my goal. One of my goals. But see, it looks kind of cool, right? You got the, you know, the suburbs kind of, and then you got the big city in the middle. It's kind of neat. I think it looks kind of neat anyways. I like that. Jeez, this stuff is pricey. And then at night, you always take a big hit, money-wise. I don't know why that is. People go to bed at night, I guess. They don't pay taxes in the middle of the night. Pay him in the day. Who knows? But we are growing. We did fix that problem. Remember how we had all those people saying they didn't have enough like these guys are now. But this will get fixed. It kind of fixes itself usually. Yeah, I did want to build a firehouse, didn't I? Especially near the industry here, because for some reason they're just very flammable. So it's better to have them be safe than sorry, right? Oops. Even though it is kind of pricey. How are they doing? When's their next? Oh, they're filling up. This game is like a month and a half away. God, it's 2027 already. Time really flies. Got all the fans out front. That's pretty cool. And then they fill the seats, I think, once the game starts. We really should get public transport too. You know if it was in this tsunami that that would just get nailed, I think. No, it wouldn't because this kind of protects it. Oh, 1.8. That's a little severe. I mean, it's not... Like, if it's a 1, it really doesn't do anything but just make a lot of lightning. Or a lot of thunder. I mean, it's not that bad. But anything like a 1.8 that might do a little bit of forest fires, maybe. I'm not too concerned, obviously, but 
Something I kind of keep an eye on. Oh, yep, there it goes. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. I don't think it's going to affect the actual city. I think we'll be okay. I think it'll just throw out some fires down here, maybe. Yeah, there's one. Also, one thing that's kind of interesting, if there is a fire, like, you know, like this right here, and then a tsunami comes over it, it will put out the fire. Kind of a fun little fire. Oh, it's getting a lot of fires. Holy crap. That's greater than I thought it would be. What's oh, really good? I mean, we... We could build this. It's very pricey. And then we could build like a watchtower. And then what it will do is it'll send out fire helicopters. I, mean, I don't think we really need to do this. And we're out of money already. Like 9,000 bucks. So yeah, see how the helicopters come now? And they will start spraying stuff. They will put out the fires. Are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. See, at 1.0, like, that's... Stay indoors. Nothing. Oh, why are we low on power? Oh, there must have been a fire at the power plant or something. No, we're actually low on power. Okay. Should we try some advanced wind turbines, maybe? <laughs> Two, I guess, is all we can afford at the moment. Oh, we got some trash problems, too. Well, once we get... Oh, crap. Yeah, we're really low on money. We're in, we're in debt, pretty much. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming day. Oh, and our football team won. Stay missed the game, though, because we were rebuilding stuff, but... That's all right. We'll catch the next game. Let's get some upgrades. I think we're getting kind of close to the point where... About to start building some more new. It's getting kind of full in this area. We'll go to a new spot eventually. Figure out where. Probably that area to the south that we just watched burn down. And we'll see. We'll clear out a big swath. And then fill it in with high density. That should satisfy the residential for a while. Let's clear out three of these. Yeah, we'll do four. We'll kind of push it. We'll have that top one. We'll, we won't do that one, but. So it's not all perfectly uniform. It's kind of mixed up a little bit. And then maybe we'll do. These two, we'll change these two for now. Maybe we'll do some more later, but in the mean, oh yeah, we're low on power. But see how much we have now? You see, that's why, because those stupid power plants don't always work right. So we'll just go with these for now. Once we unlock nuclear power, we'll probably switch to that. And then, you know, once we unlock that building that lets us do the superpower, we'll just do that. I think that's kind of the temporary plan for now. Jeez, I wish he's, man, 80,000 bucks. These buildings are not cheap. We gotta get our oppression office. I mean, any good country has one, right? Or city, I guess. And maybe country, I don't know. Yeah, these oil plants, they always run out of stuff, it seems like. I just... should just quit bothering with them. They keep doing that. Yeah, and he's having issues with garbage anyways, because he's a garbage power plant. Oh, we'll just do that. Why isn't that connected, actually? Seems kind of odd. Oh, that was weird. There we go. And we can build our 
Sweet oppression office. I do kind of want to build that. Oh, but it's so much money. Let's see how much we can get here. I guess we could just take out some loans. So, Sphinx of Scenarios. You have to win any three scenarios to gain. Sphinx, where are we going to put them? <laughs> what is with that face? Look at those eyes. That is ridiculous. And that goofy little grin. Oh my god, this, this is amazing. Why even the snake on his head? Has, I can't kind of, there you go, kind of see. I think it's a snake on his head. Look at that little smile. Why is he like that? Oh, and he glows up at night. That's really cute. Oh, yeah, take all the pictures of the world, dude. That guy's... This thing is sweet. We'll pay off that medium-sized loan to start. Oh, man, that is ridiculous. So I just got to unlock the Sparkly Unicorn Rainbow Park. That's going to be so tough. I can't, some of those scenarios I'm just terrible at. Like, I got two left to win. And they're not easy. But I'll keep working on them for you guys. The four people who watch these videos. Give or take. See if I can unlock some more buildings for all of you. I do appreciate you guys watching this all. Two or three of you. Together we build the greatest of cities. See, is this one having issues too? Oh, you suck. I can't wait to get those superpower plants. See, I think we're having issues getting stuff come in because look at that. We're going to have to buy that and just fix it. Like, it's, I don't want to. Like, I wish we didn't have to, but it's getting to the point now where we kind of have to. It's just it's not going to work unless we do. Especially now that we're getting all this high-density stuff. It's just more people coming in. We're going to have to fix it. But not today. We will do that another time. Speaking of that, this is a good time to probably take a little break. So, as always, I want to say thank you for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed, and I do hope... I get to see you next time.